Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about gzip command in Linux. gzip command allows you to reduce the size of the file by compressing it. gzip refers to the .gz file format. You can see a syntax of this command on your screen now. Okay, if you want to get some info about this command in Linux operational system, you can use a first man command to get a manual of command you specify. Okay. In this manual you can find some information included name, synopsis, description, also information about options so don't hesitate to check this manual out second you can use a help option by this option you can get a syntax of this command and also information about options here okay let's clear the terminal Let's create a file on my current working directory and insert some text data inside. By this command I will create the file named file1.txt and insert this data, this text data inside, so press enter. As you can see, there is a file named file1.txt. Let's check it out the content inside this file. There is a expression inside this file. Okay. Let's run ls command plus these options to check some extended information about my current working directory. So, there is a whole file, file1.txt. Also, you can see a timestamp. And the owner of this file. Also, information about mode. Okay. If you want to use gzip command regarding this file, you have to type gzip, then the name of the file you want to compress. So press enter. Okay, by ls command we can see there is uh, another file on a, our current working directory instead of our original file, file1.txt. So, gzip command firstly compressed this file, original file, file1.txt, and save it as file1.txt.gz with this extension and then delete the original file. So, as you can see, now we have a new file named the file1.txt.gz and there is no our original file. Okay, let's run lsla command. As you can see, this new file, this new compressed file, has same attributes as our original file has. Okay. Our original file had a timestamp, same timestamp has a, our compressed file, same owner. and same file mode okay uh, let's remove this file okay let's clear the terminal if you want to compress multiple files you can do that using gzip command as well so let's create several files 
file 1, file 2, file 3. Okay, let's use a gzip command to all these files. So the syntax is like that. You have to specify all the files you want to compress and then press enter. As you can see, there are three compressed files. File 1.gz from file 1 file2.gz from file2, file3.gz from file3. Ok, let's remove all these files. Let's clear the terminal. There are some options of gzip command. Let's check it out main options which system administrators use so often. First option, minus k helps you to keep the original file. By default, gzip command works like that. Firstly, the command compress the file and save it into another file and then delete original file. So, if you want to avoid deletion operation, you can use this command, gzip command, with the k option OK, but firstly, let's create a new file. OK, there is a file 1.txt with the content inside geek into everyone. OK, you can use a gzip command with minus k option, press enter. As you can see, there are two files. First one, this one I highlight, it's a compressed file. Second one, original file. And original file was not deleted by gzip command because we use a k option. OK. By the way, there is another way how you can avoid deletion operation. You can use a, another option, minus C option. By this option, gzip writes on standard output and redirect the output to a file. Okay, it works like that. Uh, firstly, let's remove file, compressed file. Okay, so gzip then minus c option then the name of the file file 1 txt and then have to specify for example file compressed file dot gz so by this option gzip compress this file into another file we specify here I highlight the text so press enter as you can see there are two files original one which are which is not deleted and another one compressed one okay next option is a minus V option this option helps you if you want to see the percentage reduction Okay, let's remove a compressed file of file1.txt. Okay, you type gzip, then minus v option, and then specify the file you want to compress, then press enter. As you can see on output, you see the original name of the file. So the compressed name of the file and then the percentage reduction here okay and by this command you know we did not specify c option or k option and in this way gzip delete the original file so this file file1.txt after 
compression was deleted. Okay, let's clear the terminal. Okay, let's remove all files. Okay, let's create a directory here. Use the mkdir command. Okay, it's gonna be dir1. And let's create some files inside this directory. Call file1, file2, file3. Okay, inside directory dir1, there are three files, file1, file2, file3. Okay, if you want to compress all files into directory, you can use another option, minus R option. So it's uh, work like that. You type gzip, then minus R, and then you have to specify directory where you want to compress all files. So it's a uh, dir1. Okay, press enter. By ls command, you can see the information about current working directory. So there are three compressed files, you know, from our original files. So if you want to compress multiple files in, inside the specific directory, you can use a gz plus r option. Okay, let's remove all these files. Okay, and let's remove directory. Okay. Let's create a file, text file. Okay. Also, gzip command allows you to specify a range of compression level from 1 to 9. You can do this like that, gzip, then minus, and then you can specify 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For example, let's choose 4, and then you specify the file you want to compress. Okay. By 9 level indicates the slowest compression speed but maximum compression ratio. And by 1 means fastest compression speed but minimal compression ratio. By the way, if you don't specify a compression level by default, it's a minus 6. So it's a 6 level by default. Okay. Like that, if you run the gzip command like that, the compression level is going to be 6. Okay. Let's try to use a compression level 1. Press enter. Okay. Let's remove this file. Let's clear the terminal. Okay, on the end of the video, I want to tell you some more information about compression using gzip command. Okay, let's create a text file with some data inside. By this command, I will create the file name file1.txt with the, some data inside that is gonna be this expression hello gigs. Okay. Let's check it out. The content inside by cut command. Okay. So, if I want to compress this file, I use a gzip command. Plus, I want to use a K option to 
avoid the deletion of file one original okay as you can see there are two files compressed one and original one so let's check it out by ls option some extended information about these files so as you can see the original files has size of 12 kilobytes the compressed one has size of 42 kilobytes maybe you can be surprised because how it works we compress the file because we want to reduce the size of the file but uh, actually it, it doesn't work so gzip command increase the file size of smaller files due to overhead and latency of compression and decompression gzip is not useful for files smaller than 1000 bytes okay let's create another file let's copy talk. Talk. okay okay by this command i copy the information from syslog file to the new file file 2txt on my current working directory as you can see there is a file 2txt we can use a cut command to check the content so there are some content some logs of my operational system so I want to check what is the size of the file 2 so it's more than 1000 bytes that's good let's use a gzip command to compress this file okay press enter okay there is another file created so as you can see the original file the size I highlight the text and the compressed one file is a smaller than size of original file okay it works like that thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoy it and it was useful for you don't forget to subscribe and leave the comments so thanks ciao ciao